SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Thanks, Nancy. Western Cape horror crash described as a tragedy and extra workers promise to continue with strike action. Good afternoon. Western Cape Transport Minister Robin Carlyle has described this morning's horror crash on the N1 near Prince Albert in which 20 people were killed as a tragedy that has shaken the province. A truck and two minibus taxis were involved in the pileup. Carlisle says while road deaths in the province have been brought down by 23% in the past year, accidents with high fatalities continue to happen. Carlisle says his department is consulting with experts to further reduce these tragedies. We already are focused on this in that we have not had a bus accident now for nearly two years. So I think we've got the buses mainly sorted out. But the taxi accidents continue to be a massive problem. I'm working continuously with Santaco and with Trochomela, their uh, safety campaign. But we're going to have to go into them and say, what is everything that causes these crashes and what can we do to prevent them? Two suspected drug mules have been arrested at the Cape Town International Airport. Police say the men, thought to be Congolese, arrived on a flight from Brazil via Qatar. The drugs are found during routine luggage checks. The men were taken to hospital for x-rays and other checks. Police spokesperson, November Philander. The luggage was searched and police found a photo frame containing 200 grams of cocaine with an estimated street value of more than 27,000 grams. The men were taken to hospital for x-rays where they were positively tested for swallowing bullets containing drugs. At this stage, they are still in the hospital for doctors to remove the swallowed drugs. They are due to appear in the double court soon. The man accused of trying to abduct an 18-year-old girl outside Florida High, School, Florida High School has been denied bail by the Rodeport Magistrates Court west of Johannesburg. The case against Mohammed Adams has been postponed until Wednesday next week. Adams was arrested for trying to abduct the girl outside Hur School de Burger last month. The Florida High School is the same one attended by 16-year-old learner Louise Duval, who had been ad- abducted a week earlier. Her burnt body was found on a farm in Machalisburg later that day. Duval's abduction and murder played an important part in the prosecution's argument for Adams to be denied bail. Extrata workers have promised to continue their four-week strike in their Rustenburg Northwest mine until the company offers them equal pay to that of workers in Leidenburg Mpumalanga. The striking workers have taken their demands to Extrata's main offices at Melrose Arch in Johannesburg. Tepto Mashagwana is there. The workers have expressed their anger over the wide gaps of between 10 and 27 percent which exist in the company. In their memorandum, NUMSA has lambasted extra management negotiating skills and accused them of taking the needs of workers for granted. The workers who are dressed in red t-shirts are carrying posters written equal pay for work of equal value. The union has given the company 48 hours to respond positively to their demands or face intensified action. Teto Makakwana, SABC News, Laurus Arch. And finally, further afield, police in New York have been evicting anti-Wall Street protesters who've been com- camping in a park in the city's financial district since September. Hundreds of police in riot gear flooded into the park in the middle of the night. Similar removals of anti-capitalism protesters have taken place in Oakland, California and other places.